All right, all right, man. It's your host, France. Let's talk battle rap podcast. I wanted to drop a nice little Thanksgiving, free Thanksgiving podcast for you guys, recapping everything that happened in battle rap over the last four or five days. It's been a lot. We had traffic five out in Arizona, had closure two out in Atlanta, had bags and bodies premiered for Hitman Hollis uh, season one TV show, battle rap reality show. We had the Chrome 23 second round of the tournament. Your boy was a judge for the second round. So that was amazing. And then we got some nice announcements. Well, uh, kind of announcements. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Halfway announcements. But if you're listening to this on all streaming platforms, as always, Spotify, Apple, feel free to tune in. Go ahead and check us out. Let's talk battleapp.com. We have recap articles for traffic we got a recap article for out for uh closure a recap article out for chrome we got a lot of stuff out there man so a lot of good uh work out there to read you know what i'm saying what up jay small jay small i just mentioned you man i just plugged in the article and if you're listening to this audio version i'm reading the caffeine chats my man jay small who just pulled up who did our traffic article go ahead and check that out and check the podcast me, Jay Small and Vlad did. Tata in the building. What up, gang? Gang, gang, gang. All right, man. So um, I wasn't at traffic, so I'll I'll get back to traffic in a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about my ATL trip. So you heard a bit on the pod, right? I hate the ATL airport, man. I just, I hate that airport. The goddamn air train pisses me off. It's like a 30-minute process to, to just get out the airport. It's a 30-plus minute process plus the TSA wait to get into your damn gate whatever i don't want to vent about it again but i missed the closure event but i got a chance to watch all of it today well not today but like monday and tuesday and i dropped a recap article today for it and will and 40 really good bounce back battle i'm happy to see both of them back in their in their bag back in their groove 40 was in her element will had a lot of fun And that's important, man. You know what I'm saying? It's really important for our battle rappers to have fun with everything because, like, this becomes a job after a while. And when battle rap becomes a job, I'll tell you firsthand myself, I've had to recap events that I didn't really have the pleasure of recapping. It it doesn't feel good when it becomes tedious work. So I'm happy that Will and 40 had a lot of fun. They became the new main event that we lost, A-Ward and Big K. Uh, Some more standout battles from that card, KD and, and Bad News. I did a battle on 12 hours prep. It looks like being a part of the bags and body set, you now have a new profound level of memoriz- level of memorization and writing process that I'm intrigued by. You know what I'm saying? I want to drop a little thumbtack on that because we're going to come back to talk about the newfound memorization process the bags and bodies has conditioned into these battle rappers. But salute to them for being on that card. Uh, last minute, 12 hours prep. They got on it the day before, the night before. Um, Oops and Real Deal, solid battle, real heartfelt, third round. Oops dedicated it to Real Deal. He gave him his flowers. You know how Oops do. He pretty much gives his third round up to some content and a powerful message. You know what I'm saying? But listen, man, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, all right? The story of this event is Jag. <laughs> okay? Salute to Jag, Chubby Jag, however you guys want to refer him as. Um, I wasn't always hypercritical of Jag because when he first came back into battle rap, he came back during the pandemic, which is the perfect timing. I felt like for industry guys or, you know, guys that haven't been active in this era, that was the perfect time for them to come back. Small room, small environment. Um, they could just focus on rapping and not having to so much perform and entertain. Um, and so he had a debatable with math, a decent battle with 40 cow, nothing really to talk about there. It's a decent battle. I wouldn't say a, a a good battle with Red, but he got the win, which is the craziest part. Like the battle Red was it was okay, but he got the win. So at this point, it's like you like what's going on here? And Jag talks so much shit. There was like no stopping Jag. Like <laughs> Justin says, it was so abnormally good. It almost feels rehearsed. Uh, show and tell. Uh, the show and tell bar had me thinking, oh, he acting different, says Jay Smo. Listen, man, I'm telling you, I came on Caffeine today to talk about Jag for a little bit because he was that good. He deserved the credit. And in fact, let me see if I can play this clip. Yeah, I can hear it. 
dismantled. Y'all gonna see show get stumped and this hoe get trampled. I kill niggas and bitches if you fuck with me. But nigga, this is how you show example. You oh, think you wait until pirates getting shot. You think you fly until pirates getting shot. And then the show get canceled. Nigga, you better proceed uh, with caution with rap and watch where you walk in at, because my niggas will catch you where you walk in at if you talking that. Then you can get the bosses back. You can't talk to me the way you talk to act. I get the orphan cats. You walking dead. You can't spin. He coughed in black. If Rosenberg put a homie down, this nigga a zombie now. You're going to have to bring this nigga coughing back. I'm proud of you. Yo, man. I kind of like what Jack was doing there, man. You know what I'm saying? He, I, I know that was like real early in the round. There's probably better highlights I could have played. But the point is, like, the cadence, the cadence is is up. Yeah, uh, Moni, good for Jack. He upped his cadence. He upped his flow. He upped his content. This, this, this battle, he had a real humble rollout. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't talk that much shit to show off. Didn't go crazy. They had a face off on three letter men. They had a little back and forth, but it wasn't the regular Jag promo we seen. And so it let me know, like, oh, he's taking this really serious because when do you not see him talk crazy amount of shit? And all of his interviews afterwards is just saying how happy he is that he was able to prove to RB that he's back and he feels blessed to be here. And it sounds like he's, you know, taking full advantage of the opportunity ARP's given him. And I want to give some credit to Show Off too. Show Off was amazing. Um, they definitely had the best battle of the card. Show Off made it extremely competitive. You can even say Show Off won the battle. I have no problem with you saying that. But for me, like Jag's first two rounds, boy, I was like, who is this? He really, really cared about being back in consistent rotation on RBE. And that level of care it was interesting to me because I would have thought like he was okay with burning. Like he looked like somebody that's okay with burning bridges. I'm just going to be honest. Like the way he kind of like never like went back to King of the Dot after no showing them twice. And, you know, the RBE thing happened and there was another league that wanted to have him around as well that I think uh, he didn't get a chance to battle on his neither. Like it, it was just like, yo, I don't know what's his, motive with battle rap i don't know what's his motivation i don't know how much he really wanted to be here but he showed it in that performance day he wants to be here he wants to stay here and truth be told i think he was i think he was the best performer that night this is my opinion what up way too lucky uh, salute 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 so i wanted to give jack his his props for that performance you know what i'm saying what are the battles that night went down they deserve some uh highlights as well all right and active was a competitive battle you know active has been pushing his pen a little bit more this year i have never really been that big of a fan of his to be honest with you but you know i've always respected what he does i've respected the effort he puts into the game and i really respected that this year more than ever he's tried to really step up his penmanship and while he gave a vigilant effort with red it's just red has too much red has too much man red is a former champion of the year like the former MVP you're battling. This guy has bombs for days, and then you put Red in the best environment where there isn't 77 plus people. And he doesn't have to overly project. <laughs> when Red's in a room where his voice is able to carry, it it damn near like echoes off the like echoes off the off the walls, and it's like his delivery just amplifies his haymakers. Uh, there's a little altercation in the battle, so I'm glad it, it ended peacefully, ultimately, but. Red and Active was a good battle. Any other battles from Closure that I think is worth uh, also highlighting? Ness and Gwitty. Shouts to Ness. All right. Ness has been having fun this entire year. And Gwitty, Gwitty's doing, Gwitty's doing things. All right. Um, he's doing battle rap related things. And it's entertaining. <laughs> I just I just can't say that it wins battles. <laughs> Gwitty be Gwittying, says the chat. It's nasty. The logo is always gonna make me laugh. I'm always gonna be entertained, but it's just I I, I is it enough to actually win the battle? Uh, uh, it remains to be seen. I've seen a lot of Gwitty battles this year, I've seen a lot of Gwitty battles in person this year as well. I've had them losing all the battles I've probably seen them in so far this year, truth be told. So <laughs> Justin says, who was saying more nothing? Nah, Justin, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Ness is um 
I've I've watched Ness live a lot of times this year. I can't believe I've, I've seen my eye battle, seen my RBE twice. I've seen him battle J four hundred. I think one more time I see, I've seen Ness like four or five times this year. And every time I've seen him, I'm like, yo, like he's just happy to be here. Like he's just happy to still be breathing, actively battling. He's blessed to be around. He's smiling, loving the culture, giving a hundred percent. Like I respect that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And his flow is like hypnotizing. It's always a treasure to listen to. So Ness definitely uh said more of things that matter that 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 uh in that battle. <laughs> Justin says his flow is catchy, hypnotizing even, but the material just ain't it. I'll agree with you. The the punches it's like there's not a lot of direct punches there, but as of lately, in the words of my man Jay Small, I'm gonna copy his words here. He's been trying to land more definitive punch lines. Like he's been tailoring them a little bit more for his opponents. And when he got that judge win against Big Cannon at RBE, let me just tell you, Big Cannon came up to me. I was like, you France, right? That Let's Talk Battle Rap dude? You be hating on me, right? Why you said I can't beat Mike P? I'm like, I don't know, because you can't? Like, Mike P is, like, levels above you? I don't know. Like, what you want me to tell you? Like, I don't, I don't you used to be good, and you, you're you not at your peak no more. Like, you're not at the peak of your powers. He's like, right, well, well, watch this tonight. I'm like, well, show me something. I'm watching. <laughs> you know? And then he goes to lose to Ness, doesn't talk to me, just leaves the event afterwards. It was a judge battle, by the way. Lost unanimously too, but that's that's neither here nor there. Yeah, we don't we don't gotta bring up old stuff. We don't gotta bring up old stuff. <laughs> so salute to Ness. Um, closure was dope. They lost their main event and they did not stream the event. I'm still a little still a little bit mad at it, but you know I'm willing to, I'm willing to move on. Now I I now lucky I do take some L's. Lucky in the chat says Francis and take L's. I take I take L's. I have no problem admitting my L's and owning up to it and keeping that same energy. But when I take my win, it's going to be documented. All right? So, unfortunately, like I was saying earlier, I did not make it to Closure 2 Saturday. Um, I got there late in Atlanta, and I wasn't going to rush over to then rush to the premiere. So, I, I just kicked it. I got dressed, throwing a nice little cardigan, nice gold chain, you know what I'm saying? Some... Some Versace cologne, head to the Bags and Bodies premiere, and Bags and Bodies was beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you guys out there have already uh, probably copped the uh, the subscription on CoastalRain.tv, five ninety nine. Go ahead and check out the pilot episode of Bags and Bodies. I don't think I have much more to say about Bags and Bodies, but I want to respond to Hitman Hollow today because uh, he had a Twitter space where he kind of was addressing all of the haters. Then it was anybody in, in the chat today in that space where Hitman was like addressing all the, the negative cri uh, criticism that he was getting from coastal rain TV and bags and bodies. Like people were upset that you have to pay for it. People thought he, he's scamming people. People don't want to pay for this. They're upset. Like was anybody there? Yeah, that's right. I got a London teacup. Okay, some 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 people says yes. Some people say for the most part. So basically, he was addressing people that did not want to pay for the subscription because they weren't made clear that you had to pay for it. That's one. He also was addressing people that were upset that it's not on national television. Like, oh, it's not on national TV. So like, this is on some streaming app. This isn't television, right? So there's a, there's a, there's two big complaints, right? There's the one that you have to pay for it. And there's the second one that it's not on national TV. And man, this is where I go back to say, you know, Hmm. A bunch of battle rap fans are complaining about subscription based battle rap content. Where have I seen this before? Sounds familiar, right? Uh, you know, uh, this is a little bit of a taste of like what it's like to be URL. If you want to get more nuance, I know you're going to probably say no, that it's not. But the reason that it's similar is that like there is this consistent pushback towards somebody that is working hard to provide content and elevation. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Right. We, we just because it's we're paying for it doesn't mean we can't complain or we still want certain quality. But there's certain aspects of battle rap that we have to kind of realize at this point, like. YouTube and television and all the distributions that we used to use for battle rap five, 10, 20 years ago 
it's not viable for us any longer, bro. Like, I don't feel like YouTube is like the, the best platform for the culture anymore. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's the most accessible. Everybody wants it to be there. But guess what? Every other league outside of URL is using YouTube and nobody's grown. So <laughs> the, the biggest, the easy to block captain is the biggest star out of YouTube drop. And the man has a record, has a record deal with, and he's on two TV shows about to be on his third one, I think. So, like, I, I don't see it as it's a YouTube problem. I see it as, like, we're a, a closed-off niche, and we're going to have to capitalize, not capitalize, but monetize within our own group. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather, I, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather a dollar from 100 people than a penny from 10,000 people. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just me. And that's what battle has become pretty much over time. Like, the leagues like iBattle and URL having subscription-based content and also throwing 30 plus league, 30 plus events a year for the league. It's not a coincidence. It's because they've been able to create this in this 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 uh economical like like whirlpool of money and opportunity for it for for their artists because they have cash flow and this cash flow is able to convert into opportunities, which is able to convert into content for us. Okay. And that's where we're at now in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I have no problem paying for any battle app subscription based content that I really want to enjoy. You know what I'm saying? It was people were like, Oh, I was upset that it, it wasn't really like marketed. That it was, it wasn't on TV. Now that part, I'm not saying that I agree with those complaints, but I will say when, you know, when he mentioned coastal rain TV back in like August, I looked it up and I'm like, I don't know this company who is coastal rain. <laughs> then when they started their social media pages in September, I saw it was a brand new company, brand new page. And it reminded me of a uh, Zatch network, right? Bill Collector started a league this year, Sudden Death Battle League. And he uses Zatch network to distribute, to distribute his content on. And it's probably an independent uh, TV station. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys look it up, man, you can easily start your own television station independently away from the syndicated networks. It's not going to be on your cable box, optimum Verizon television set, but it's going to be available on your Roku, Apple, Google, Android TV apps, because those applications allow for independent TV stations to thrive and to be able to do what they want to do, whether it's locally, whether it's halfway syndicated, whether it's brokered through a bigger network, like, and those are the TV stations where the the owners and the content creators and the, the director, because Hitman will pretty much be a director at this point, for the most part, the creative director, those people that have the most control and oversee everything, you know what I'm saying? And it's a black owned company. Uh, this woman, I don't know her name, but she's invested into uh, Coastal Rain, and she was really upset to see that Battle Rap wanted everything for free. And I, I'm just going to say it, I guess, man, look, we have to support this culture, man. This is this is this is what it has become now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we've been spoiled by YouTube and caffeine and Twitch. And maybe people see these these new companies come up and they're like, oh, who's really going to go there? Uh, who's going to use this? Nobody knows about this. But listen, man, respectfully and big time respectfully, I love King of the Dot. I love King of the Dot. I wish they were back active. They were on Twitch, a top 10 website in the world, right? <laughs> At least a top 20 website in the world. One of the biggest websites ever. And they were, I don't want to say struggling, but they, they, they did not garner more than two, three, four thousand viewers at some some portions of their tournament. So do you what do you want? <laughs> do you want to be on a platform where it's like it's giant and you're getting a splash of the traffic there that doesn't really care about us or do you want to cultivate our own thing where we can all go to i hate to see people slander caffeine and i'm on caffeine right now right so i guess i'm going to talk good about my partners here at caffeine but the point is like i look at caffeine and i'm just like yo beyond battle rap it's catering to basketball content creators it's catering to uh comedians it had the, the world spades tournament here all i see is air quote urban content creators and y'all know what the fuck i mean when i say that right so if you have if you have a platform that's catering to us in this capacity, why shit on it? I don't understand that part. And that's what Coastal Rain is pretty much doing. Is it's opened up the doors for us. Season two is on the way. 
And this level of hatred or or negative or, or, or negativity that's being spewed at it, it doesn't help. It's a crab in a bucket mentality. And we just gotta do better, man. Let's read some of these messages. Rita says, and you gotta make your content screen record proof so you can survive. Go to says urban, break that down for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh go they don't get me in trouble man spoke spoke to a load of cool people through caffeine says way too lucky yeah man and i just but ultimately i do want to send this message to hitman um the love is bigger than the hate you have your peers they have your back 100 percent you have the media that, you know, um, it's respected by <laughs> the figures that cut the checks here behind your back. You know what I'm saying? Season two is in the works and you change the lives of like over 16 different people and more probably. So the love is way bigger than the hate. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't focus too much on the people that are discrediting this project and this movement and this league that you started and this show that you started because it, there's a lot more love than hate. Moni says, it's just a few bloggers and a couple of fans complaining. They'll be okay. Yeah, Moni, you know what it is, man. It's just, um, it takes it takes six positive thoughts to balance out one negative thought. So sometimes battle rappers do this thing where they are getting hundreds of comments of compliments from their fans of like their content, the way they are as a battle rapper, their personality, how good of a person they are, things that they like to do. And they, they scroll past all those compliments and they respond to the one eggshell that started his account in November, 2022 with three followers that's hating on them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And sometimes that one comment burns more than you appreciating all the compliments. It happens. It happens. Sometimes it's just like that, man. Rita says bloggers are complaining, but getting paid from the content they complain on. Hey, Rita, maybe maybe this is some people that just want to shake the table for the sake of shaking the table because they know if they zag while everybody's zigging, everybody will pay attention to them. And it's it's the oldest trick in the book, man. It's the oldest trick in the book. Like some of the some of the most common tactics is to just go the complete opposite direction of everybody with a very sharp like take or very polarizing opinion and everybody's like what you think this and they're just going to be focused on the fact that you think something completely opposite to them or making a giant general statement that applies to any and everybody and not address any and everybody and then every and everybody responds to that statement because you made it imagine i made a statement saying Barely any of these media members are valid. And then all the media members respond to me. And it's like, I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> and so now everybody responded to me from this blank general statement. And I garnered all this traffic. It, I see all, all of these moves are not new, man. They're, they're, they're cheap, but they work. And if that's what y'all want to do to make it, make the needle move, go for it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Rita, man, take it easy, man. Um, I'm, I'm using the mic because I'm using my my Chrome hat so it can match, man. You know what I'm saying? Can I can I live? Cameron got the pink mink and the pink Range Rover. I can't I can't I can't rep Chrome. But speaking of Chrome, we're gonna transition to Chrome 23 now. Um, again, salute to bags and bodies. I caught a 6 a.m. flight the next day, Spirit flight. <laughs> I was on roll number five, and then. I see Uncle Ra pull up on row number one. And I was like, yo, what up, Uncle Ra? I see you in first class, baby. First class spirit. <laughs> so I'm, I made it back to the city by like nine o'clock. I took a nap. Then I went to Chrome 23. I was a judge. I got the honor of being a judge for round two. Uh, obviously, I dropped an article in, in the podcast about it, so I won't get too deep into the battles. But a few updates from it that I just want to share is... um. Some of the gifts that Remy Ma gave me, man. You know, Remy Ma obviously gave me this chrome hat that you guys are seeing on the stream. She gave me this chrome pushaisty. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, Goda, you still in the chat? You gonna like this one, man. Oh, Rita, you gonna really like this one. Remy Ma threw me a nice little godmother, man. 
Let's open this bad boy. Bruh. This is a can of cigar, bro. Do you know how much is in this, bro? There's a quarter in here. I I can't even if I wanted to try to finish this in one sitting, I couldn't. All right. And because I can't. <laughs> because I will not be able to finish this in one sitting, I'm going to save this for a very special occasion. Yeah, Tata, this shit lit, man. This shit is lit. So, uh, Chrome was fun, man. You know what I'm saying? Salute to Miss Hustle and Papoose and Swave 7, John John. We were all judging together. Uh, I hope Shayna Ashley's okay, by the way. I know Shayna Ashley was disqualified because she could not make it into attendance for her battle due to a health concern. And uh, still haven't heard from her this week. And if, if anybody in the chat has any updates about Shayna, I will love to hear it because I did not hear anything this week. I didn't see any tweets. I didn't see any updates. I didn't hear anything on the spaces. Um, so, yeah, praying for Shayna Britt. I hope she is okay. Justin says, have we heard from Rhea Dollars? Well, ARP says he heard from Rhea Dollars, so it's all that matters, right? Oh, shit. Jay Black's in the building. Everybody hide. Yo, I'm going to tell Remy Ma to make Jay Black a judge for the next uh, Chrome event because the final four, Bonnie and Caution, let me just go ahead and say this. I want no parts of that battle as a judge. I'm saying it right here, right now, live on Caffeine for you guys and for the podcast to listen. I don't want to be a judge for that battle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't. I do not want to judge Bonnie and Caution part two. They battled six weeks ago on, uh, what was the call? What call was that? Bless What in Tears 5, right? No, Bless What in Tears 7. Excuse me, pardon me. Bless What in Tears 7. They battled just recently on it, and now they're battling again. That is crazy. Well, to be fair, actually, uh, Justin, I won't have to call in sick. I actually won't even be there. I will be in Orlando that day, so I won't be able to be at the semifinals, but uh, even if I could and I would, I don't want to be a judge for that battle. By the way, how y'all call it, man? Early predictions. Bonnie versus Caution, part two. Who you got? And C3 versus Cheddar. Who you got? Rita says he'll be watching history that weekend. Oh, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Britt says tournaments always end up with rematches usually. That's true. Moni says Bonnie is top 10 for Wody with a question mark. Moni, I'm going to take it a step further. I'm not so sure that we can't rule her out for being a contender. I'm just saying, man. I know everybody's saying jazz, 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 jazz. And and, and look, jazz is certainly up there. I have no problem with saying that. But let's not slam the door on Bonnie Godiva. Let's not slam the door on Miss Hustle neither. You know what I'm saying? I just want to just want to put that out there. And that's right. I, 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 you, you heard it from me here. Let's not slam the door on Miss Hustle. She is a valid Wody contender. Goda says, caution, Cheddar versus Caution Finals. Okay, that's his prediction. Who else you guys got? Uh, let's hear your predictions real quick for Caution and Bonnie Part 2 and Cheddar and C3. Karita says, I'm watching. Don't switch up later. Nah, read off. I've I've been on the record saying that I have missed hustle undefeated this year. So I know the caffeine chat can't believe it. It's the truth, sir. It's the truth. It, I have Miss Hustle winning all her battles this year. Moni says I got Bonnie and Cheddar in the finals. Okay, okay. Well, look, man, I've doubted Cheddar every round along the way. I had to apologize to Cheddar again, guys. I, I went up to her this time and I told her, look, man, I'm sorry. I wasn't really familiar with your game and my shack voice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just says you got her beating Vixen on camera. I had her beating Vixen in the building, but I know on camera it's way closer. And if not, it looks better for Vixen. I've seen the Twitter polls. I know the consensus online have her. In fact, the consensus online, as far as the polls and like fan votes and social media, they have Hustle losing both to Couture and Vixen. But in the building for both battles, I, I felt like she won them. Oh, shit, my man Titus in the building. Titus, what up, man? 
much love to you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I hope you're doing well. Holiday season and all that. Had you in mind earlier today, bro. Home 23 is Hustle's home. She is definitely the face of Chrome 23. <laughs> Moni says, check J Black's last tweet. Oh, boy. Live on the podcast. Let's read J Black's last tweet. Hey, y'all, I got to tell you the story about uh, me and Averb, y'all. I saw him over at Bags and Bodies weekend. It was an interesting uh, interaction between us. <laughs> Hold up, Black. I didn't I didn't say it like that, though. I, I did not say it like that. See, hold on, man. There's a art, there's an art to this quoting thing, all right? You either paraphrase it to the best of your abilities so that you can't get caught looking crazy, or if you're gonna be verbatim, you gotta be verbatim. I said, I do not want to judge Bonnie and caution part two. All right. Miss Hustle is undefeated for 2022. I will take that. I have no problem with that quote because I, I, I I've said it. I've said it. I said it prior to today, so it ain't it ain't me breaking no news. I've said this before. Um, let me tell you about this Averb story real quick. I see Verb at Bags and Bodies, right? Yeah, I know Verb blocked the LTBR page. I'm like, Yo, Verb, what up, man? Can you free us? He's like, Oh, 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 man, you, 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 you friends? Let's talk battle rap. Oh man, uh, y'all be on the wrong side of the ship, man. Y'all always quoting people against me, man. Where, where my quotes at, man? I'm just like, hey, Verb, have you gone down the timeline of our page? We quote you every day. And Verb's like, yeah, yeah, but it ain't enough. <laughs> it ain't enough. So Verb went and unblocked us. And, um, you know. Verb doing verb things. Verb open the space. Started talking to Kid Chaos. Talk, talking shit to, to um, Chef Trez, to Nun Nun. All those guys made Verb's profile picture one in ten on the URL app. They made it. They made his app record their profile picture, which is hilarious. But you know, I quoted uh, Chef Trez. This Chef Trez quote is amazing. It's probably one of my favorite quotes of the year. Chef Trez said. Verb app record is one in 10. That motherfucker playing spades with his app record. That is amazing. That is that is my favorite quote probably so far <laughs> in November. Um, and then Verb. Verb wasn't happy about that. You know what I'm saying? He saw that and he had something to say to me. Let's let's take a listen to what he had to say to me. Hey, hey, too. Hey, look. Hey, let's talk battle rap. Hey, friends. Now look, you back doing that weird shit. Then when you just saw me, man, you 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 didn't sing that song, man. Now come on, now. Now look, man. Hey, friends. Like you know, I don't give a fuck, man. Like look, you don't get that. You and that little Miami Vice look, nigga. You ain't fooling me with your shit all combed back, nigga. <laughs> fuck me talking about, man. But I know what type of nigga you is, friends. You know, I can see that already. Yeah, you one of them niggas like in the movie Bad Boys Three or something, and like when Will Smith cuffed DJ Khaled to the table, you that you one of them type of niggas. <laughs> ah, Verb is great, man. Verb is hilarious, bro. Miami Vice is wild. DJ Khaled is wild. So you're going to have a specific verb section for quotes? No, man. You know, I'm just going to go about things how we normally go about it. I, I actually had a talk with Verb. Verb is, verb is a good sport, man. I'm a good sport, too. I ain't got no problem with it. But, you know, Verb, I just got to feed the ecosystem. If I only quoted you and not the people talking about you, I'll be compromised media. Or maybe I already am compromised. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> oh, Titus says we all get blocked sometimes. Hey, Titus. Hey, tell the chat. Go ahead and tell the chat about who blocked you recently. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that one. <laughs> yeah, he he don't want to say that name. <laughs> Titus says none, none block me, y'all. 
Hey, man. Look, it happens, man. You know what I'm saying? You get blocked, you get unblocked, then you get blocked again, then you see them in person and they forget they blocked you. It's just the cycle of life, man. I remember when Surf block. Yo, listen, free to wave. I remember when Surf choked against Loaded Lux and I made a meme where Jordan was looking at the iPad and then it zoomed into the video and it was Surf choking. <laughs> and then it zoomed back to Jordan going, ha, ha, ha. And then Surf blocked us, it, rightfully so. It, it's a very, it's a very vulgar meme. Like I, I, I it's fucked up. I shouldn't have did it. I shouldn't have did it. It's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But then I seen him, um, probably like three, four months later, and I'm like, yo, man, free LTBR, man, what's up? <laughs> and, then he, and then he freed us, you know what I'm saying? Uh, R- Ralph Ross is off and roast you. Go ahead, Ralph, join, join the party, man, join the party. It, it, Titus says that was a that was an earned block, the wild days of LTBR. Listen, man, we used to be, it used to be the wild wild west over here, okay. Um, all of you that used to be a part of LTBR daily, or that used to listen to my rants about, you know, the woman that is the face of Chrome Twenty Three, those days do not get spoken about. The file, all of those files are burnt, they're gone, okay. So don't 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 go searching back and be like, oh, is this you? It's gone. It's not available. <laughs> hey, Perk, relax with the name, Perk. Perk in the chat trying to get me caught, man. Take it easy. Yeah, Todd, I, I do got a cold, man. You know what I'm saying? I I, can't, I came back with the sniffles. I did a COVID test here in the crib. I was a uh, I was negative, so I'm just just probably a cold man. You know what I'm saying? This weather is terrible. <laughs> Titus said that Harlem is already on your helmet. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Ha- Harlem. Listen, man. When Murder Mook beat Geechee Gotti, and I had to go apologize, Murder Mook's mother-in-law pulled me to the side and was like, "My mother got to talk to you. Your mother. Your who?" You know what I'm saying? And then uh, she FaceTimes her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law's in the bed with like a bonnet, just like. And then I have to apologize to Murder Mook's mother-in-law. Like, hey, listen, I'm sorry, man. Your son had an amazing performance. You know, I'm holding the phone, talking to him. I'm sorry, your son had an amazing performance. And then his mother-in-law goes, well, what'd you expect, nigga? Huh? What, what, am I, what am I gonna do? What else am I gonna do but laugh at that? What else am I gonna say, man? What else am I gonna say? Can't say nothing. What else am I gonna? Sh- yeah, she G checked me, Justin. They all did. They all did. All everybody from Harlem, you know what I'm saying, had 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 words for me. But you know, it was all respect at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I got a dot mob hat somewhere laying around here. I don't know where I put that joint. It was over there. Yeah, I, I got to have to get a dot mob hat after I lost my bet, but on to the bet. So, you know how that goes. But yeah, man, Um, back to the sequence of the weekend. So Chrome was amazing. I really appreciated that. Uh, Remy Ma be in tune, y'all. She be in tune. So whatever y'all be saying, she might be reading. Cause she... She definitely told me about some things I said. She was like, oh, yeah, you said this, you said that. And I was like, oh, shit. I deleted that. I didn't know you saw it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she'd be all the way in tune. And I respect that, man. She really loves the culture. She loves what she's doing. And I respect I respect what she does, obviously. And I think everybody just wants to see Chrome win. Ain't no place like Chrome. So I hope they continue to thrive and we will continue to cover them along the way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's read some of these messages in the chat. No past looks as happy early Thanksgiving. Salute to you, same brother man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here giving some content before we take a nice little four day break. You know, what I'm I know the final exam battles will be dropping on Friday from URL, but we probably won't cover that till next week. Thursday, I'm not doing nothing. Friday, I'm not doing nothing. Saturday, I'm definitely not doing nothing. Sunday, 
I'll get back into the groove of things. Unless it's like crazy breaking news that happens, like an, an event is announced or something. I don't know. But for the most part, I would love for everybody to take it easy on the team. We work really hard. Um, let's enjoy this holiday break. Because once we're back at it, like we got we got volume, we got civil war, we got the semifinals. Uh what else we got, man? URL probably has a, at least three events in December, right? They said they had a survivor series coming up. Um who knows if RBE does another event before the year is out. Like, am I missing anything? I feel like it's, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. But there's going to be a lot of things going on. A battle rap festival weekend is coming up soon. That's true, Titus. I'm just keeping quiet. I'm keeping quiet. Um, y'all gonna be burnt out by January. Dale Simmons, I'm burnt out now. What you mean, boy? Huh? I did three events in two days. Think I ain't tired, ho? Ah, it's tired, boss. That's why we're taking a break. <laughs> Oh, Battle Academy. Thank you, Rita. The Battle Academy card, man. This shit got Danny Myers versus Cuban. Hey, can we talk about this real quick, y'all? Cuban might get Danny Myers up out of here, son. Are y'all ready for this convo? Because I, I know Titus is ready for it. Titus, if you're ready to have this convo, you give me a call. <laughs> Cuban's LTVR debuts coming after Cuban beats Danny. Okay, okay. Cuban needs to stop battling in Philly, says Rita. Oof. Oof. I hope he wins, though, she says. Tata says Danny's not losing. I've seen the flyer today that Bill Collector's battling a little slack. I didn't know that was happening. Goda says we all know Cuban's getting body. Hey, listen, Goda, Cuban beat Chilla Jones this year. It's not out the realm of possibility to say he can beat Danny Myers. You know, Danny Myers battled 30 times this year. Let me read this to y'all. Hold up. Yeah, I'm going to read this right now. Hold up. It's loading. When Danny started the year, uh, 2022, he had 124 battles to his name. He's on his 153rd battle. He's battled Tay Rock, Skills, Sharon, uh, Rio, Jay Lopez, Kaboom, Little Slap, The Amazing D Boy. Pause. Yo, what kind of battle rap name is that? Pause, bro. Anywho, he battled uh, Ro Rolla, Av, Frack. Oppa on the Twitter spaces, Prestavia, one rounder, B Magic, the Nitty Rematch, Nun Nun. Uh, he battled NASA McMahon. I don't know if this happened. I don't know if this one went down. I don't remember this NASA battle. He battled J400. The Ike P battle is not a real battle if you want to count it, whatever. He battled Gamble. He battled Tink the Demon, Fonz. He battled Active. He battled somebody named Metaphor. He had a rematch with Cortez, a battle with Gutta, um, a battle with Clone. He's battling Archduke Red Cat. He's battling Cuban. Yeah, that's a lot of battles, y'all. I wouldn't count the Ike battle. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I'm just reading off the list. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that amazing D-boy is wild. Who are you, sir? <laughs> what in the world? He only lost five of those. Did he, Justin? Because I got him losing to Av. I got him losing to Nitty. I got him losing to Sharon. I got him losing to Frack. I got him losing to Prestavia. I got him losing to Tink. That's already six. So is it really five? I got him losing to Jay. That's seven. And it might be a little bit more than five, man. <laughs> Justin watched all 30 of those battles. <laughs> Well, we know you don't. No, I do like Danny, Justin. I do. I do. Titus doesn't. Titus doesn't. I'm just like, I'm in the middle, right? Like, I'm like the realest. And there's like Yikers Island. And I'm just like in the middle. I'll tell the truth. Like, I, I got Danny beating Fonz. I got Danny beating Nun Nun. I got Danny beating Active, Cortez. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, a lot of these other names too. But the Cuban thing, the reason why I say that is because Cuban this year has been one of the people like under under the radar a little bit. He like Marv one had this tweet for Cuban. It was really funny. He said, "Yo, who allowed you to get good?" <laughs> And I thought it was just funny because Cuban has improved this year. And so it hasn't really been noticed or talked about. A lot of his battles are obviously at OSBL, at a Martini. So I feel like when you battle there, it kind of goes under the radar sometimes. But like him beating Chilla Jones, and I saw that live, I was impressed by that. I was real, I was legitimately impressed by that. So Mo Bar says, call that man Danny Flyer since he has so many battles. That is hilarious. Nah, Danny's work ethic is different, though. You know what I'm saying? I respect that shit so much. Um, I would have loved to have seen him on volume card instead of, uh, you know, taking so many side missions. But, you know, his app record, too, was interesting because he has, what, eight battles on the app and he's four and four? I, I, I'm kind of shocked. The app has him losing to Tink, Sharon, Av. Who else? And Nitty. Has anyone defended Cody well besides Geechee? Mm-mm. And the answer is no to that. No pass look. His work ethic is fire, says Britt. Now nah, his work ethic is amazing. His work ethic is really amazing. I wish this year didn't peak in January. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that Tayrock win was definitely the highest part of his year, and he hasn't exceeded it. Nitty Battle is probably the closest thing you could point to, but uh, I thought this year hit a peak in January. Danny clears Rock but gets cleared by Steams. Some messages in the chat. All right, man. But salute to Danny Myers and Cuban. It's a battle I want to see. You know what I'm saying? K Walker, Henny Man's also battle on that battle battle uh, academy card. We got Jazz and Shice Raw. Easy to block Captain and Big T. Hey, you, yo, Titus, did you know uh, Big T made a Reddit profile? And he'd be like on Reddit, like just like chiming in and talking to the fans on Reddit, like picking their brain. And he made a thread recently on Reddit. It was hilarious. He titled it. Let me read this to you. It's easy to it's easy to bop capping a puncher or more of an angler. <laughs> and there's like 30 comments in it. So everybody's like just talking to Big T on Reddit. <laughs> I, I think it's kind of cool, actually, believe it or not. I think it's kind of cool. Like that he decided to say, hey, let me go interact with these online fans. And they're all like, yo, what up, T? What up, Tuna? And everybody's just in there just chatting it up with them. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. Easy to bop capping says go to. That's what that's what Big T called him. Easy to bop capping. He also be plugging in his merch on here. You see that's Big T. I'm not making this up, y'all. He really be on Reddit. He really be on Reddit. <laughs> Reed is laughing in the chat. Yeah, man. So I think that pretty much sums up everything. Oh, traffic. Okay, I wasn't at traffic, but Jay Small was. He did a recap article for us, and we did a podcast with him. If you're still in the chat, he can definitely chime in a little bit on his traffic experience. But some of the biggest highlights from traffic was Nitty. He felt that Nitty had a decisive win over Bill. We have to watch it and see. He uh, felt Saint show that he belonged, but Chess won the battle. Another battle we got to watch and see. Um, Yoshi and RX, he said, had a really good back and forth. Probably was a debatable battle as well. He said none of the Jada Nightwing was solid. Lusso and Tink the Demon wasn't uh, his most favorite battle of the night, but he said Lusso got the job done. So. Who got it? Who are you talking about? Since he doesn't talk, type, or rap in English. Who are you talking about? Just as I heard Bill Collector ran up on him. Yeah, Bill Collector was not happy with Jay Smo's, uh Reviews. Oh, that's a punchline. J Small reviews. Uh Codus is big T does not right talk type or in English. That is hilarious. Yeah, so hopefully we get those traffic five battles as soon as possible. We'll find out if J Small was lying to us or not. 
And if he is lying, we can go ahead and take away his credibility. You know what I'm saying? I got to admit, though, the way Bill Collector came at Smo and the way he handled that shit was the most professional thing I've ever seen. That was really good. Class act, huh? Class act. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but look, at the end of the day, you know, Bill's like, I expected this. And, you know, I see him, like, respond to everybody negatively on the timeline. It's like, Bill, you battled Rum Nitty in his home city. Like, first off, listen to the first part of the sentence. You battled Rum Nitty. That part alone is like, bruh, you know, like, beating this guy is, like, one of the hardest things to do in battle rap. And he has, like, the biggest audience online. And then you then you amplify that by battling him in Arizona. Like just just wait for the battle to drop and just let the camera let the camera work speak. There might be somebody that appreciates the versatility. Um we're gonna we're gonna watch the battle and we're gonna judge for ourselves. But you know when you when you're online complaining it's like it don't look good bro. It don't look good. It don't look good. Having a good battle is winning says Ty definitely Definitely, definitely, especially, you know, against against Nitty, because that's been the standard that has been created as of the last couple of years. Like, as long as you compete with Nitty, it's a good thing. And I want to I want to try to keep that same energy, too, because when your man Holmesy and Jerry and Lou and 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 everybody else was just competing with Nitty and we gave them praise. If you have Bill losing, but Bill did it really good in his performance, you better keep that same energy. All right, I don't want to hear no. Oh, but he lost. He lost. No, I don't want to hear none of that. Titus says, "Bell and Nitty off stream." The PR plan is to say we had a classic and just be quiet. <laughs> that is the best rollout you can have. Battle and build, um, battle and rum Nitty, especially on an event that's not streamed. You know what I'm saying? Because believe it or not, at least when they battled Danny. You know, I won't say that out loud. I'll get in trouble. I won't, I won't say that out loud. Well, yeah, man. I think uh... <laughs> Justin says, nah, you hate dude. No, no, no. It's not about Danny, Justin. It's about the battle. I got to I got to listen. See, yeah, never mind. I was, I'm not going to say that. I'm, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. It's not about Danny, though. It's not about Danny. Moving on. <laughs> um yeah man so that that summarizes everything for the past four or five days final exam card is dropping uh this friday we'll probably get some more volume announcements in the near future you know what i'm saying probably uh who knows man maybe averb and shotgun sugar be on volume we've seen them going back and forth we've seen loso call out t-top Maybe they get that. Maybe they also gets that plate. You know what I'm saying? Surf album drops tomorrow. Says no uh, more bars. That's correct. You know what I'm saying? So that pretty much sums it up, man. Justin says Verb and Sugar is a high key ass battle. You know, I saw Shotgun Sugar a couple weeks ago too. He was lobbying his uh champion of the year case to me. And he was pretty much telling me, you know, his strength of schedule. He was dominant. Did he take it into consideration? If he battles Verb and he beats Verb the same way he beats everybody else, like he feels like he's he's a contender for real, for real. And I'm just like, look, man, you're having a good year. Don't <laughs> don't get don't lose sight of the fact that you're having a good year. You know what I'm saying? But the, re- the reality is, is just that, look, Black Compass and LTBR did a ranking list in, like, July. We did, like, 20 names, and Shock and Shook was not in the 20 names. So does that one run between Stumbles, Drugs, and Chess automatically take you from not being 20 to, like, number one? I can't, I can't say yes to that. I cannot say yes to that. Prior to that, I did not have you even being on the top 20. Like if you make a if you make a top ten list from that run, like I, that's that's amazing. Don't lose sight of that. You know what I'm saying? This Miami battle doesn't help. Says more bars. That battle's debatable. 
Titus, Titus says, get Titus on champion of the year. No. They will jump you before and after the panel. <laughs> Shield is going to be so mad when he's number 11 on the list. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we still got to see how the year plays out. So still one month of transactions available. Yeah, I know how that goes. J Black says, you don't want no parts of Cody. Listen, I'm trying to tell him he don't. I'm trying to tell him he don't. <laughs> Titus says, ain't nobody jumping tight. It's not physically. You know what I'm saying? But I, I can't guarantee that if he's in that room and he tries to say, Tay Rock beat Danny Myers, that it's going to go peaceful. Because <laughs> he's the first thing he was going to do if he comes into that room is going to say, Tay Rock beat Danny Myers. <laughs> and the room might rebel against him. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he says, I'm gonna call it available. Cody sounds fun. All I gotta do is delete my Twitter the night before. That's a great idea. I did not think about that. That's an amazing idea. Yeah, man. Let me read some of these last messages before we get up out of here. The tournament winning. The tournament winning battle won't happen until after December 31st. Yeah, man, that's rough, man. It's going to be like the 1st of January, right, Rita? Like, if we're looking at the calendar, let me pull up the calendar because Chrome has been doing it every three weeks. So the semifinals should be on the 11th, and the final should be January 1st. That's rough, man. I don't know. Like, this is just my opinion. I, I know I've had this conversation uh, with Black that, you know, uh, that like the rules are the rules and whatever happens in the calendar year should happen in the calendar year. But in my opinion, I just feel like the finals of a tournament being on January 1st, like I will, cons I will, I will consider it. I will consider it. And I'm, I'm not telling you to change the rules. I'm just saying like, we're going to have a panel after the fact that happened and it's the, it's the day after the year is over. Like, I don't know. I would, I would, I would consider it still. It's just one battle. It's just one battle, but that's just me, man. I don't know. I, I respect the rule at the end of the day, calendar year cut off to December 31st. After that, it does not count for 2022. I respect the I respect the rule all the way. But if they have the finals on January 1st, whoever wins that tournament is going to feel very slighted that that one battle is not included into their Cody campaign. I mean, Wody campaign. Oh, man, I would be tight, man. I would be so tight if I was, you know what I'm saying, if I was that woman that won the, the, the Chrome tournament. It's going to feel crazy. It is going to feel, it's, you know why it's going to feel crazy, Rita? It's it's because you're going to have the panel after it happens. You know what I'm saying? For God's sakes, like, I feel like there's people out there that truly believe that because we had the panel a week after Chilla Jones and K-Shine, we picked Chilla Jones over K-Shine for uh, Cody back in 2020. Like, I think people really think that because of, just because of the circumstances. So, like, the longer these things linger, and the more transactions happen before the panel happens, the more of those transactions people put into their campaign or at least mentally put into their campaign. But that's not that's not how it works. It's supposed to cut off on the 31st and bam. Black says, that's why you pick him, not me. <laughs> that's why you picked him, not me. Oh, brother. In hindsight, hindsight, just to, just to shake the table a little bit, looking back at that 2020 Cody run, I think we slighted B dot man. I think we slighted B dot man. You know what I'm saying? I, I I don't normally regret any of my picks. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I regret picking Chilla because obviously it was fresh off of him beating B dot. But you go back to look at B dot's year, you're like, damn son, how did he not win? Damn. Shouts to B dot man. B dot had an MVP year, dog. And B dot beat Nitty before was cool to beat Nitty. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's really have that conversation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Titus is laughing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Not beat Nitty. Smoke Nitty, says Mo Bars. 
Yeah, man. V dot V dot twenty twenty was special, man. <laughs> oh man. Uh just the reason resume. He beat Rum Nitty, the UM2 champion, T Top, this battle of the year with the saga. Oh man, he had such a good year, man. Their years were close and Chilla Jones won. No, yeah, Black. That's why I, I, I'm saying I don't regret my pick. You know what I'm saying? And I, I can live with Chilla Jones winning over B Dot, but just if you separate their battles and just look at their years, like you look back at it and you're like, damn. Vida had Vida had almost a flawless year. You know what's funny? On the app at the time, people forget this. Saga was beating Vida on the app in that time period. In hindsight, now you look at the app, Saga's beating um Saga's losing that battle. You know what I'm saying? So, that's one of the few battles that's changed over time. That's a good argument, Titus. Look at the rounds that Chilla had to stand in front of in 2020. Chilla had to survive some some bombs. You hear me? Twerk first round against them in that uh, app only event. That was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Real six breakout performance. Boy, that was one of Real Six's best performances, man. Real Sick arrived in that Chilla Jones battle. Oddly enough, that battle defined the rest of what his career was going to be for the next two years. <laughs> competing but just slightly losing by the whatever I'll leave it alone um i had real sick winning that battle though um what the battles the heat he the geechee battle geechee second round you know what i'm saying geechee second round for uh for chilla jones you can't make believe that you go home shoot a nigga make him scream and go back home to sleep oh my god man yo Chillis to the front of some heat that round, bruh. Um, that year, bruh. What about the other two rounds, France? <laughs> look, look, Chilla won on the app. I ain't saying Chilla lost that battle. I'm just saying Chilla stood in front of some real competition that year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rita says, wow. He said, damn. Yo, listen, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I threw that. I said that real sick comment. He didn't deserve it. But it's, it's the truth, man. Competed with Av, lost in the votes. Competed with DNA, lost in the votes. Competed with Pat, lost in the votes. Still, all of the all those battles are debatable at the end of the day. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's, it set the early precedent for the trend that was yet to come. Before we had knew it too. Mm 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 mm. Oh shit! Yoel just dropped the battle. New Jersey twerk versus Lou Castro show Tom Rita, when you in the building for this, they just dropped it on the URL app. Oh shit. About to add another loss to Lou Castro's column on the app, man. Oh, shit. It's a three round battle, Justin. Shit, well, I'm about to go ahead and watch this, man. I've been on here long enough. All right, y'all. Much love as always, man. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, as always, let's talk about rap.com. Go ahead and check out any of the articles we have from all the events over the weekend. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to coastalrain.tv and check out Bags and Bodies. You will not be disappointed. It was a great, great pilot episode. Um, we will be back on Monday. We will enjoy our Thanksgiving break, and I hope you guys out there enjoy your Thanksgiving to the fullest extent. <laughs> Tata says I have to relax. What did I what did I do? What did I do? What did I say? You know what? I might have to relax. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wilding. Maybe it's me. You know what I'm saying? Rita says talk to you later, Rita. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, my girl. You know what I'm saying? Happy Thanksgiving, Brit. Britain building. Happy Thanksgiving to you. you know what I'm saying. And uh be out of here. Yeah, they're gonna blame you, Titus. They're definitely gonna blame you. Maybe I've been on too long. Maybe that's I maybe I'm gonna get in trouble. So let me just get up out of here. <laughs> All right, y'all. We out of here.